All right, got the gate open. So today we have to move the sheep, right? We have paddocks, in case you're new around here, all around our place. We don't do the movable fences, and we don't shuffle everybody around all the time. We don't move our chickens all the time. We just kind of go with it, you know? We have paddocks and we rotate them. And if you're gonna do this, you wanna rotate your sheep, your goats, your cows, whatever it is, within about 30 days, because parasites, you know, your worms and stuff like that, <clears throat> they have a life shelf of about 30 days-ish uh, life cycle. So you can break that cycle if you move them around. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna take them from here, their little spot on this side, and I'm gonna move them across the way over there to the other barn. Another reason why I do that, especially going into winter, I have the lawn hydrant over in the other paddock and it doesn't freeze, right? This paddock here, I only have right there. I just have that little water container right there and they live off of that plenty good, but it's gonna freeze up as we get into winter here. So I'm gonna move them over here. And in the winter time, you don't have the parasite problem as much because it's so cold outside, they can't live, right? So now I can put them over in their winter permanent home where we keep the hay in the barn and also where we have a continuous flow of water all winter long. All right, let's move them and see how it goes. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it can be kind of hairy, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> all right. Hip, 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 hip. Come on, mama. Hip, hip, hip. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. That a girls. Hip. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on, mama. Lead them home. Go on. Go on, come on, come on out. There you go, there you go. One thing I'll explain to you guys too, right? Like a lot of people think that it's the ram that runs the show in these sheep, but it's not. It's one of these ewes here is the boss. And wherever she goes is where everybody else goes. Rambo's job is just to kind of protect them and you know, make the babies, keep the bloodline alive and you know, that's what he does. So I just, a uh, little misconception that people have there. So, all right, let's get him over to the other pasture. Good morning, sir. Come on now. Hip, hip. Go on now, come on, mama. That a girl, that a girls. Come on, come on. That a girls, there you go. There you go, nice and easy. Nice and easy, there you go. Nice and easy, girls, that's right. Come on, come on, there you go. Keep going, come on now, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Come on, Rambo, I can't let the girls get too far ahead now. Lead them home, mama, lead them home. Come on. Good job, good job. That's right. The best sheep man on YouTube, right here. Come on now. Come on now. You're doing good. Come on. There you go. Come on, right on in the door. Right on in the door. Come on. Come on. Right on in the door. There you go. There you go. Come on. There you go. Beautiful. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Best sheep man on YouTube. <laughs> Seriously, y'all, I don't joke around with this stuff. I am a straight up shepherd. I take my job serious with those sheep. You know, we got a real good little relationship. I've had most of those, I've had all those sheep ever since they were just little bitty things. And uh, I just really enjoy the sheep as far as homestead animal goes. 
A lot of people ask why I don't like the goats. I don't like the goats because they always challenge the fence, man. They're always jumping the fence, finding the weak spot in the fence, always bothering the fence. Um, let's see what else. They like to get on stuff, right? Like they like to jump on the cars and jump on the dog house or whatever you got that they can get up on. And really the main thing for them is brush control if you want to clear out an area or something. Or you could also uh, use them for milking, right? And if you guys have been around here for a while, we don't do any milking, okay? Why don't we do any milking? You have to pick your battles, right? We don't do any milking because we can get the milk so cheap in the Midwest here where we're at. We can buy raw milk right around the corner for pennies on the dollar. You know, three, four dollars we can get a whole gallon of milk. And we don't even use it that much. We just use it for yogurt and stuff like that. So now the duck ducks are going over. Every morning the duck ducks come over and they go inside the sheep house here and lay around in the straw because they're up all night trying to stay alive. <laughs> morning, duck ducks. Good morning, duck ducks. Good morning. <laughs> they want to go in there, but they know I'm watching them. Morning, duck ducks. So when I'm watching them, you know, they kind of make it look like, oh, we're not going in there. And then they circle back around and go in there. Because this is their sleep time. They'll go in there and crash for a good, you know, hour or two. So natural routine every morning. All right. Battery died. <laughs> I was talking to you guys up there. I was giving you the next reason why we didn't like to get the uh, goats or any milking animal, actually. And the wind picked up even more. And I noticed the battery died. So then I had to come get another battery, grab my jacket. And in the meantime, I got a phone call from a neighbor. And she wants me to go and uh, move her cows around for her. So this was another perfect timing of why I don't have a milking animal. And I can explain that to you guys while we go over to the neighbor's house and do the chore over there. Okay? Let's go. Man, I tell you, it's cold front. I'm going to have to switch my jacket. I got my kind of fall, spring type jacket on. And uh, I actually have a winter Amish jacket <laughs> so another reason why we don't like the um, cows for milking or you know the sheep like i was explaining we can just get it so inexpensive is just because when you want to go somewhere you have to find somebody that can handle that level of choring right so usually you can just find a friend or something to babysit some easy stuff but if you have to start milking two times a day you got to find somebody that has some skills in that area you know to pull that off for you. So that's another reason why we don't have milking animals. Now where I'm going, this isn't a milking uh, situation, but it's just another thing that you guys should think about if you're gonna, you know, homestead, live, live, live this lifestyle. This is one of the most uh, asked questions probably we get. There's a couple of them. There's top 10. There's top 10 of the most questions. Uh, how we go anywhere, How who watches our place, you know, when we go to these uh, speaking gigs that we do. And, go on vacation or whatever so that's one thing you want to do is when you get to your place if you're not familiar with folks is develop some friends or get your friends involved and kind of share with them the journey and then that way you can uh, you know have someone watch your place you know because you'll you'll have to go someplace sometime I mean, you just can't stay married to your place the whole time so all right i'm gonna go over here and get these gates opened up for them now they're all gonna run over here because they think i'm gonna feed them Anytime those cows hear any kind of cars showing up, you know, they think it's some kind of feeding time. It's got a couple calves out there. Pretty good. So with these folks here, they actually live down in the city. And they uh, have a spot up here. They have a couple spots, actually. And they just keep cows. And they, uh, you know, raise them out and stuff. And then sell them at the market and make a few bucks and have some good meat for themselves. So instead of driving all the way up here and managing the cows all for these little bitty things, you know, I'm always here to help them out. And uh, they've let me use their tractor and stuff like that. So not only is this a good video talking about chowing for people and what you should look out for, it's also about bartering, you know, helping people out. I help her, they help me, and it works out good for everybody. Uh... Hello, girls. All right, let's get these gates opened up. That was the plan stand so they can get to their hay here oh man look at the young calves everybody's bucking and jumping 
Boy, look at her bag underneath her, boy. She's definitely got a calf on her. She's fresh. Yeah, we got these guys are pinned up over here. Oh man. I'll tell you what, it's pretty chilly. Hello, I'm gonna open you up. How you doing? All right, I got an audience. Look at the little calf, isn't it cute? Oh, easy now, easy girls. All right, I don't think there's a gate over here, but I'll go check. That little calf is pretty cute, isn't it? <laughs> that was just like the old Laurel and Hardy films or something. <laughs> They're both trying to squeeze through the gate at the same time, boy. It's like them old funny skits. Yeah, she just wants them to get out here to these bales, I guess. You can see that it's one of their bales right there. One of their hay bales. Look at my beard blowing. Man, here comes the cold front, the rest of it. I guess we're gonna go out of that Indian summer I was talking about and get back into winter like we're supposed to be. Middle of December. January, February is when we're the coldest, actually. So my finger's starting to feel a little bit. I'm gonna switch hands. Got that thing out here in the naked wind with this little bite of the air in there. I don't wanna mess up those nerves with this cold. I did that when I was riding a Harley. I rode a Harley coast to coast with my wife, Stacy. And I got this thumb, got a little frostbite one time. So every time it gets cold, it lights up. So I don't want that happening, so switch my hands. All right, we've got all the gates open for the neighbor and we've got some happy cows. Are you a happy cow? You look like a happy cow. And uh, we were talking about pastures and they manage their pastures with hot wire, they call it, see? So they run that hot wire everywhere and then when the cows touch it, well, they get the idea pretty quick about it <laughs> and they back off it so that works pretty good too i'm just not into it but with that stuff too you can pretty much set it and forget it it's just for opening and closing pastures but man oh man so they have 40 acres here there's a 40 acre parcel <laughs> back to the homestead can you tell <laughs> It's got that warm, homesteady vibe, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so what I did forget to do though is throw some uh, hay out for the sheep. So we'll throw some hay out for them real quick too. Man, it's Friday already. It's a fast week. So we've been hanging out every day. In case you missed some of our videos, make sure you hit the videos tab and see if you missed any and go watch them because they're always lots of fun and we always slip in some good information. Oh, the bees are cold today. No one's, no one's hanging around the bee hole. They're all inside, staying warm. Man, this wind is relentless. Is it windy where you're at? Let us know. Yeah, I know, I forgot to throw you some hay. Huh? I know, I know. Hang on, I'll get you ready to go. Boy, Rambo, you're something else. All right, here we go. Don't crowd me. Don't crowd me. Don't crowd me. Don't crowd me. He's crowding me. Don't crowd me, here I come. I'm trying to hold the camera, hold. I got this bad hand and everything. All right, here's one. There's some. There's some there. And there's some there. Oh, I guess they want to eat in private. <laughs> you guys don't even know. The whole time I'm holding this camera, right? I'm dealing with this. It's my little buddy right here. He likes to hang out with me. As soon as he sees me, he comes running out. Look at him. Oh, boy. That's right. This is the good stop. This is the good stop.
<laughs> back and forth, back and forth. This is why I homestead, y'all. This is why I left the city 12 years ago. Because I was not feeling it, you know? I was working too much and had the wrong priorities. When I shifted my priorities and I mean, I, I didn't care at all cost I was gonna do it. And we did it. And now we just like to share it. Don't bother me now, I can't keep my eye on you. Look at him trying to line me up. See that? Trying to line me up. Rambo, they don't like you treating me like that. Trying to line me up. I know what you're doing. You guys see that? What happened to the don't bite the hand that feeds you, right? <laughs> and then I got Sadie right here. She wants her oats too, so. I guess that about wraps it up. I was just hanging out with you guys while I was living my best life. Maybe hopefully it'll encourage you. Maybe it'll answer a few questions about why we don't have any milk animals around here. Maybe it'll give you an idea on what to look out for if you're gonna be homesteading, what animals to get because you gotta keep your chorn in mind. And you know, if you have a neighbor down the street and they milk already and you guys are chummy and stuff, that's easy. But if you're gonna get like some of your city friends involved and they're gonna come stay at your place, <laughs> that's gonna be a whole nother story, right? So you gotta think about all that stuff. Everything's relevant. And there comes Smokey. I got the whole gang, man. This is, I feel like Dr. Doolittle over here. I just love it. So that's it. I'm gonna get everybody fed. Hope you guys are having a great day. Have a nice weekend. We'll see you guys on the other side of it. And if you guys didn't know, we're gonna be in Florida in January. You can go to offgridwithdougandstacy.com and right on the home page is a link if you want to get some information about it. It's called Keepers of the Old Ways. We're going to be there teaching all these skills about living off grid and homesteading and all that stuff. I'm going to start walking this way because I don't have to worry about Rambo. And it's really going to be a good time. There's some other folks there. David the Good is there. He does a lot of composting. He wrote a book called Compost Everything. And uh, you know, it's just going to be a good time. A lot of good educational setups there. You know, hands-on stuff. and So, if you want to check that out, at least just go to Off Grid with Doug and Stacy and click the link on the homepage there. And that'll take you to the... Uh, she's so beautiful. Sadie girl. That'll take you to the um, link. And at least you can check it out. And if it's in your wheelhouse... Hey, Molly, no! If it's in your wheelhouse, got to teach her not to chase the horses in it. They're excited. They're so excited. No, Molly. All right, come on in. Come on. But if that works for you, we'll see you there in January. In my little loop. See, I come back through the barn. See, look at them, they're inside there. I told you guys. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's my little loop around the homestead. Everybody's got water and stuff. Man, that temperature really switched quick, boy. So that's why when it's nice, you gotta make hay while the sun shines. That's why they came up with that saying. Because you never know, like tomorrow, what, it's, what the weather will be like, you know? Boom. Way back in the day, they didn't have some forecast guy who was wrong all the time telling them what the weather wouldn't be like. So they had to rely on getting it done while the hunt sun was shining. All right, guys, leave a comment down below. Hit the uh, like if you like what I'm saying, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great weekend. This video was brought to you by Plain and Simple Chocolate Tea from Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. The weather outside is frightful. A cup of chocolate tea is so delightful. Made from the husks of roasted cacao beans, it has a chocolatey aroma, yet tastes like an herbal tea. This beverage is rich in mood-enhancing theobromine, the perfect replacement or addition to your morning cup of coffee. You can find it at offgridwithdougandstacy.com. Plain and simple chocolate tea makes me happy.